now just like that you're gonna be able to fully zone lock your opponent uh on their turn but you also have a rice heart this is a two card combo i'm back the kashira god himself all right that's not me i gotta i'll be honest okay i was sick and tired of slapping every single kashira duelist on the planet two owing their ass into the shadow realm i was too tired of it they all you all suck so I put it upon myself to show you guys how to play Kishtira properly with a full-fledged Kishtira spreadsheet with a thousand billion combos to beat every single deck in the world except Pendulum. I know what you think. Trip, how the heck are you beating Kishtira with Pendulum when they just lock your zone? Don't worry, I got my secrets, which I will reveal to you guys in my Pendulum videos. But for today's video, it's not about Pendulum. It's about Kishtira. So let's get started. On the most beautiful Kashtira full combo guide in the history of all time. Let's go. Now, before we get into this video, I want to give a massive shout out to Jib and Lundrity, who've created an incredible spreadsheet on how to play Kashtira, as well as how to play Abyss Actors, Despia Branded, and all the spring ins and all the new cards from the new set. So, if you guys want to check out the spreadsheet, it is going to be on my website for a limited time only. Shout out to Jib and Lund. Uh, they made this incredible spreadsheet with the 500 billion combos, bro. More combos and deck lists you could possibly ask for. So let's get started into the meta-changing Kishtira deck. A lot of people think this is the best deck of all time. If you play it properly, it just might not be because Pendulum is the best deck. But this might just be a close second. So let's go. Also, I want to give a massive shout-out to my playmats, Kishtira playmats, which you can now find on TripGaming.com as well as the spreadsheet. So let's get into the video. First things first, I wanna show you guys a one card combo that's on this spreadsheet. There's gonna be one card combos, three card combos, how to lock five zones, how to lock three zones, how to play with one card, etc. So here, this is the a combo I wanna show you guys what happens when you start with Unicorn. So when you have the field spell, you also search for Unicorn to begin with. Unicorn is the best one card start because it's gonna search for the, the special summon. The special summon spell card will search for Fenrir. And then once you get Fenrir, it's going to get Rise Heart. So this is where the combo begins, okay? Where you special Shangri-La. So after this, you go Rise Heart, you banish your trap. Then this is a one-card combo with Unicorn where it's going to be able to lock three zones and utilize our friend Diablosis over here where you're going to lock three zones. And then on his turn, you're going to summon out Fenrir. And once Fenrir or Unicorn trigger their effect, you're going to lock two more zones, locking all the zones on the opponent's turn uh, with just one card. Now, there are a thousand ways to do this combo. You could lock five before your opponent could play a card. It, obviously, that's more than one card combo. So now I'm going to show you guys a two card combo. Now, this will be a two card combo where you open any of the two good Kashtiras. It doesn't matter. You could just get them easily. So for this, we're going to go Unicorn. We're going to gonna search Fenrir. Just any two of the good ones. Any two good Kashtiras. And you're going to be able to, with the effect of birth. So once a Unicorn searches birth, you're able to normal summon at level seven and any level 7 kashtira so once you normal summon any level 7 kashtira you can start using their effects obviously as a level 7 this is not playground Yu-Gi-Oh, where you could normal summon a kashtira fenrir without tribute summoning but thanks to the spell card you can so now we're going to use the fenrir to search for the rise heart here we're going to go into shangri era and the a whole of the whole play will be the same but this is where it gets really cool so we're going to do here is we're going to use the effect uh but however this is what we're going to do here we're going to special this we're not going to trigger the effect of Big Bang yet. Yeah, you see this? We're going to special with Birth. What we do is we use the Field Spell. Okay, so use the Field Spell to pop the Shangri Era. And Shangri Era will then protect itself by detaching. You need a card in the graveyard for Birth to trigger the Special Summon. So by doing that play, where you, when you open the Field Spell and any Kashtira card, you just pop your own Shangri Era, allow yourself to have a Kashtira in the graveyard, and then you Special Summon that back with Birth. So it ends on the same board as before, where you triple zone lock them. It will eventually be the second your opponent activates one card is going to be five locks. So anytime they play anything, it's a five lock. And but you also get an arise heart with three material and a big bang underneath it. So that's having big bang underneath is also incredibly powerful. So now just like that, you're going to be able to fully zone lock your opponent uh, on their turn. But you also have a rise heart. This is a two card combo. Uh, we're going to showcase how to do the five card, com uh, not five card combo, the five zone lock before your opponent could even play a card on the spreadsheet. There's going to be a bunch of combos on the spreadsheet as well as a bunch of deck lists, different version of deck lists. There's different versions of the deck where you could also go into Draco Sack uh, to make double token, to make Cherubini, to send Enchantress, to go into Brave Play. Uh, so there's lots of different ways to play this deck, which is really, really awesome. And one cool thing about this deck is if you really want to, you can also play around Nibiru by just going into a triple material Arise Heart 
kind of playing like Zodiac, where it ends on a Dryden plus a Macrocosmos, just with one card, and it might be a double pop Dryden. So that's it for the uh, combos. There'll be much more on the spreadsheet if you guys want to check that out. I'll show you guys now two examples of deck profiles. This right here is my version of Kashtira. This ain't even on the spreadsheet, baby. This is my version of, uh, of Kashtira. Fuck hand traps, okay? Hand traps suck. I don't care if you're like... Yes, Nibiru could be nice at times, and Ash is only only specifically good against Despia. But, however, if you remove all hand traps, this is my theory, okay? If you remove all hand traps and just play, specifically stick to one idea. One ideal, not idea. Play all quick play spells. Now, when you go first or second against any matchup, doesn't matter the matchup. It could be any single deck in the planet. You're going to generically open the same every single time. Every single hand is extremely consistent. So you're no longer praying against Despia. Please, please open the Ash Blossom and lose the duel. No, every hand looks the same. Design that every one of this hand could break every board going second. And allows you to, if you get Nibiru, if you get whatever, this deck actually, the way I play this, play the, I don't even go for zone locks. Because zone locks are for losers. I just go for the Zodiac ideal, where you go for... Three material, a rise heart, you play around Nibiru and a Macrocosmos and Trident. You let, if they want to book a moon, your thing, no problem. They're going to have these cards like books, but you have 15 of them. So even while your opponent thinks they're safe, you have your own to stop them. And especially when you're able to set up the traps with the Kashtira Ogre, which is actually very easy to do when you normal summon the Kashtira Ogre. Very, very cool way to play the deck. I'm going to show you guys the way that uh, the spreadsheet shows how to play the deck right now. This is the second deck profile here where it's still very similar to the other one still utilizing ogre here but it's mixing up different board breakers cards like dark ruler lava golem and ash one issue i find with this is that if they were at the book of eclipse you you don't have too many interruptions against them so i prefer the all quick play spell version it's just more consistent you know what you're going to see every single turn and i do like that uh, as the format has progressed a lot of people are used to ibli so i don't want to play ibli in my side deck for the other one it does for this all versions are powerful and done to your how, how you personally like it so that is the video two deck profiles and two combos on how to play kishtira if you guys want to know more about kishtira as well how to lock all five zones before the opponent can even touch a single card make sure to check out the spreadsheet in the link below as well as the kishtira play mats it's saucy to lock your opponent's zones and be like look at my rise heart play mat baby ah beautiful hope you guys enjoyed this video pen best deck kishtira 17th best deck and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!